Jason, can you please talk about the effects of living under a vapor canopy for humans? Okay. Wendy, the only reason I can talk about that is because humans used to live under a vapor canopy. And when we lived under that vapor canopy, evidence of this is like there are some archaeological mysteries that don't make sense. One of them is, is there is a species of oyster that's only found like 200 feet deep and deeper. They can't survive in shallow water. And yet, from the vapor canopy period, from the fourth and third and half of the half of the third millennium BC, we have oyster. We have these huge shoal oyster beds where it's obvious that humans were harvesting these, which meant either they were technologically advanced or they were able to hold their breath for very long periods of time and swim all the way down there under an entirely different atmospheric pressure and harvest these and then come back up. Now, today, I don't know if a, I don't know if there's a single human that can they can swim 200 feet deep without his eardrums busting out. I don't know. I don't know if they can because we're made of liquid and oxygen. I don't know if they can swim that deep and, and, and be able to bring a bunch of those up. I don't know. But this was a main staple in diet at the time. And it's just not reasonable if uh, if people won't be able to hold their breath for long periods of time. <clears throat> but under the vapor canopy, we know we have like uh, Margaret Elsbeth recently shared a post from somebody else that showed these gigantic petrified mushrooms all over the world. Well, under the vapor canopy, mushrooms would grow. It's nothing for a mushroom to grow 12 to 14 feet. That's not, that's not a problem. Rabbits were 90 pounds. Wolves were 400 pounds. Under the vapor canopy, animals, uh, they were gigantic. This whole ice age scenario where we have ice age creatures, they call them megafauna. These giant woolly mammoth and all that. Well, the science now is showing us that those creatures did not live in Arctic conditions. The woolly mammoth's hair actually cooled the woolly mammoth. They were creatures that were living in a temperate environment. That's not Arctic. The sloth, the sloths, and a whole bunch, a whole bunch of different different uh, facts are coming out right now about the megafauna. How the whole ice age uh, narrative is collapsing. It's just a bunch. The younger, driest period. Yes, there were cold snaps in history, man. But there was not. It's not the story that we've been told. It's BS. <clears throat> Under the vapor canopy, with like uh, the Institute of Creation Research has a lot of information about this. ICR, it's, I think it's ICR.com. I don't know. I read all their books. Uh, Dr. Bohr, Bear or Bohr, B-O-H-R, I can't remember, but he's fascinating. And he explains all this, what humans go through, how cuts, how cuts heal in seconds. Deep internal wounds heal in minutes. Uh the immune system is absolutely so fantastic under under the atmospheric pressure and the enriched oxygen of a vapor canopy. The ambient radiation is totally different than the harmful radiation. By ambient radiation, I mean the same thing that happened under the Phoenix episode of 1902, when the volcano of Martinique blew up and killed 30,000 people in St. Pierre. The only survivor on the entire island was an inmate who was condemned to die. He was in a cellar under the jail. It's the only reason he survived because this volcanic eruption wasn't just a uh, lava flow. It was an actual explosion and an incinerating gas cloud enveloped the entire town and incinerated all 30,000 people in seconds. It's the only reason he survived. He was underground beneath the effects of the blast radius. When scientific expeditions arrived, arrived weeks later, they stayed for months and they studied the volcano and its effects. In the four months that these scientists in 1902 were at uh, Martinique, the island of Martinique, they grew two and a half inches. These scientists were in their 60s. This is vapor. This is vapor canopy ecology, because under the vapor can canopy, ambient radiation, which comes from volcanoes, actually benefits the human genome. 
it, it create we, we we have things within us it, it might it might it might create like a an overdrive for peptide production peptides are the building blocks uh, they use amino acids they can replicate medicines uh, the human body is fantastic human body can do all kinds of things but under different conditions it can do even more remember they say about 30 percent of our dna is junk dna but it's only junk because we're not living under an, a different biosphere right now. When we're living under a different biosphere in the future after 2040, I promise you, people are going to think that they are immortal. And that's not good because of what follows. Let me see. 